Well, hi there, and welcome to this, another Facebook Live, with me, Dr Tristram Fabergé, the newly appointed Minister for Post-Brexit Freedom. Do you know, I shudder sometimes when I think of all those awful European laws that we used to suffer under. Laws such as... Um, oh, well, it was... Uh, oh, well, anyway, I shudder. As you can see, I'm standing here on the shores of my beautiful constituency, or consultancy as I sometimes do, Upper Thorax. Now today I'd like to make something perfectly clear. I'd like to make, if you will, a personal statement. A, a, a post-EU burst of honesty, one might call it. I'm free. I'm free to charge you whatever I like for my statesmanship. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. I'm perfectly happy to take cash for questions, or anything else for that matter. Now, of course, in Europe, they're trying to stab this sort of thing out. There, they call it a bribe, the spoil sports. But here in Freedom England, we prefer a much more noble word. Donation. As in blood donation. A sincere and genuine act of generosity. <laughs> now, just to be helpful, I've devised a tariff of freedom services, or a, um, a free trade deal, if you like, with you, the voter. Rather like the very successful free trade deal, so successfully and recently concluded by dear Liz and Preti, with Rwanda and Albania. In this deal, those countries take all of the immigrants that England doesn't want and hides them, gives them plenty of freedom in a great big jail, or camp, as I heard Liz call it. Now, what's particularly impressive about this free trade deal is that Rwanda and Albania don't know anything about it. <laughs> We're very proud of it, you know. We call it in cabinet the acceptable face of human trafficking. And so my cash for answers tariff. I'm very happy to offer the following services. First, the query. If you'd like me to ask a query in the House of Commons, I'm very happy to do that, such as... Why is it taking so long for me to be granted planning permission for my back garden personal immigration holding pen? <laughs> Please note, this is only available to constituents in Albania. If I'm working with you as a consultant or advisor, and know absolutely nothing about what it is that you do, I will need some basic information. Of course, that's not essential. I can always say... My constituents' capacity to make PPE is based on decades of long, long experience making up market lingerie, or whatever your business is. Now, friend, I won't be able to secure you a contract for under about a billion pounds. We don't want to be silly, do we? If you'd like me to insult a member opposite, I'm very happy to do that too. Insults in Latin are preferred, but, oh, please don't ask me to use a horrible European language. <laughs> of course, I can make, if you will, an accusation about an honourable member. But this does attract a premium rate, if it involves dear Dominic Cummings. As we know, he's rather a stickler for the truth. I'm also happy to offer what I call the disguised consult, or cox. In this, I go to a, a sinking tropical island, sinking, of course, because of climate change, whatever that is, and I tell them as part of the consultation how free they are. Free of habitable dry land. <laughs> and then I charge them an absolute titanic load of cash for this consultation. And I throw in a drawing of the map of their coastline. It shouldn't take very long, of course, because of global warming. Now, I should say that the cash needs to be in my account fairly swiftly, quicker, if you will, than it will take Google to delete the island from their database. Lovely. Next, there is the... the Lothario. I'll happily tell you, for a fee, whatever you want about Matt Hancock's amorous techniques or performance management as he calls it. <laughs> now this comes with an additional bonus. A rather plum job with the United Nations, which of course will be swiftly and unfussily withdrawn. 
You see, the Brexit government, as we prefer now to be called, believes it important that the House of Commons has the brightest and the best brains. And one day we'll make sure this happens. We can't keep all the talent to the current cabinet. That would be selfish. So I hope that all helps. Ah, now Martin's... Martin wants to josh with me. Hello, Martin. What, what, what is... Martin's my spad, you know. What is it that you... Ah, yes, he says that I'm not, in fact, free. I'm really rather expensive. Oh, yes. Ha, ha. I see what you've done there. Yes. <laughs> oh, now, and I'm also still rather cheap. Oh, I don't think there was any need for that. What's that, ladies and gentlemen? The only thing, of course, that's completely priceless is the truth. And, of course, you know what they say. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Take back control. <laughs>